Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Jarelli and I haven't filmed a video in a while, but here I am. Um, I am doing a makeup tutorial to get this look. So if you guys want to achieve this look, then keep on watching because I will be using the new Morphe 35X Big Primpin' Palette that just came out and I got it for my birthday. So my birthday haul will be another separate video if you guys want to go check that out what i got um and yeah we're just going to be working with a ton of neutrals and blush colors for this look and this is the first look that i do with eyelashes because i never worked with eyelashes to be honest like big eyelashes so if you guys want to achieve this look you know like neutral glam blush glam whatever you want to call it and keep on watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like these Follow me on Instagram and TikTok as I post a lot of other different kinds of TikToks on there, like different content. So be sure to follow me on there and yeah. Okay, so I applied some e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, and this is like my go-to primer that I've been using for a while. Um, I just applied it a bit all over my face with uh, the Morphe Makeup by Ariel uh, foundation brush, which I will be using for my e.l.f. CC Camo Concealer, Camo, Camo, um, Camo CC Cream, that's what I mean. So I will be using this. I'm just getting ready because I'm doing a Spanish project later. And I'm gonna look good and I'm also making TikToks and I'm also making some more content for YouTube because I haven't filmed anything in like a month. So yeah, I haven't filmed anything because I've been really into TikTok and I feel like sometimes I struggle with like juggling one thing with another one. So yeah. Um I'm doing I'm trying I'm really trying my best right now with my content. So I'm trying to use like my changeable light bulbs, which I don't even know what the right word to say is, but it changes color. So I'm using the cool white setting right now and I'm really trying my best with the lighting. Okay, so now I'm using the e.l.f. Um, Hydrating Camel Concealer with a satin finish, just because I really don't like the matte one. Um, yeah, uh, I really like like more dewy products instead of mattifying products. My skin gets worse with mattifying. Okay, so I'm going to layer some bronzer on, so I'm going to use the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. I bronzed up my face with the cream bronzer. I'm just going to bronze up my nose a little bit, do a little bit of contour. And then I'm gonna go in with the, my little mini NARS liquid bronzer to see if it fits my skin tone. I'm going to go in with the Laguna bronzer now. I'm going to use the same brush. So I'm bronzed up. Now I'm going to do some blush with the Physicians Formula Butter Collections. It's the collaboration with Whaley and Physicians Formula. Uh, she made her own uh, butter collection palette. So I'm going to go in with the blush. 
Um, I will be layering on the mauve, the dark mauve first, and then I'm gonna go with the peachy color just to like add a bit of depth. I'm going to go in with the ColourPop um, Super Shock Cheek Highlighter in the color Wisp. So before I go into eyeshadow, and I'm just going to apply some powder on my face just a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go in with the Glossier Boy Brow in uh, dark brown, no, in brown. I don't fill in my eyebrows really ever, so I'm just gonna put some brow gel on and just call it a day because I don't have time for eyebrows. So here are the eyebrows, and then I'm just gonna use the Cody Airspun. Um, powder. I'm just gonna use this triangle puff just to like blend out the creases under my eyes and then I'm gonna set it with powder. So today we're gonna be using the Morphe 35X Big Primpin which is a new palette that they just came out with, I think, and I just got it for my birthday, which what I got for my birthday will be a separate video, but here's one of the things. It's all like mainly blush colors. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like very neutral, but very pink, very blush. Excuse all that noise. My nephew is playing with my mom, but yeah. So we're gonna be using some concealer just to base, add the base for the eyeshadow. I'm gonna zoom you guys in just a little bit. My back is like in so much pain right now because I'm crouching. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna change my earrings soon. with the shade Beauty Secrets, which is just an orangey nude. It's this one right here. Okay, so now that we have Beauty Secret on her eyes, I think I'm gonna go in with a double take, which is just like a darkish blush. This one right here. Sorry, my lighting keeps changing. It's just the East Coast does not want to cooperate. So yeah. Okay, but well, that is a nice pink. Okay. I don't think I've tried this one yet. I think I'm gonna add mirror check on the outer corners as well. It's just this darker shade right here. So we're done with the outer um, corners of my eyes. I'm gonna go in with the inner corners. I'm not sure what color I'm gonna do yet. It might be another pink, but yeah, let's see. So I think I have to turn on my flashlight for a quick second because I cannot see a thing in here. Um, but I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in with grab attention because it's a bit sparkly and I think it looks kind of cute. Okay, it's pink. I mean, you can barely see it on camera, but it's giving pink. We'll see at the end anyways. So, I'm just going to continue building it up. So 
So last thing is gonna be a glitter on the center of my eyelid and it's gonna be the shade All Lux, which is this one. Okay, so I did the eyeshadow. I'm just gonna do some eyeliner. I'm gonna smoke it out with this little flat brush to blend out this black eyeshadow that I will be using. This is also from e.l.f. It is the um, No Budge Retractable Eyeliner. I'm gonna put this on my eyelid just to create a tiny little wing and then I'm gonna apply it under my top waterline just to make it blend in with like my fall and my 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 false eyelashes so i did a bit of eyeliner i did a bit more of a downturned wing um which i wasn't expecting to do but since my eyes are like shaped like that i guess like the wing is like made to go down i just decided to do a downturned wing and i will be using some fake eyelashes today um they're a bit bigger than like the natural ones i usually use even though they're probably not even like still gonna be visible in my eyes you can barely see fake eyelashes when i put them on but yeah um, i will be using these um they're a bit like fluffy wispy okay, so i put some eyelashes on i put some eyeliner on and this looks so much better um first of all if my eyelashes are a bit wonky um excuse me it's just like i really cannot put these things on my I just really cannot put these things on my eyes correctly. I mean, it doesn't look bad. I really like how it turned out. Um, we will see the end result because I still need to put some lipstick on. So I'm gonna go in with Morphe's Backseat Love uh, for the lips. I'm just gonna zoom you guys out again. Um, but yeah, um, I'm not gonna spray any uh, setting spray just because it's like nighttime. And also I'm gonna wash this off soon, so. Yeah, but if I were to put the setting spray on, it would be the Morphe Mattifying Continuous Setting Spray. Um, first of all, I don't like the smell. It smells like watermelon, and I do not like the scent of artificial watermelon, um, unless it's Sour Patch Kids, but if it's this, I don't want it. I thought it was gonna smell like coconuts. It does not smell like coconuts. It smells like watermelon. Please, Morphe, change the scent. Otherwise, I will not tolerate the watermelon scent because it's not, it's not it gonna clean my lips a little bit just because they're a little a little a little crusty first of all thank you morphe for making five dollar lip liners because these are literally the best um formula that i've ever tried in my entire life like not even mac makes this like good of a lip liner my cleaner now i found out that backseat love kind of matches with dior's rosewood um lip glow lip balm um well, yeah. I feel like we use a lip gloss today. I never overline my lips, first of all. I hate that. It looks bad on me. And I also don't like I, I don't like making my top cupid bow round. I like to accentuate it because I really like how it looks. I think I might go in with the Maybelline Lifter Gloss, um, the shade Amber, first of all. These companies need to go cruelty free because I'm tired of having to look that up. I'm tired. Like, why can't all brands be cruelty free? I don't understand that. I'm done with the lip gloss. My hair needs some fix up. 